Welcome back to Matter of Fact, where we're looking at the impact of immigration at the U.S.-Mexico border in South Texas. Hidalgo County has been at the center of the debate over immigration for more than a century. Border crossings, both legal and illegal, are part of daily life there. So now, two perspectives on the impact. One from the Border Patrol chief, who says he needs a wall to stop a crisis. And one from the mayor of McAllen, Texas, who says this issue is being politicized by people who don't know what they're talking about in Washington, D.C. Just watch your step right here. Manuel Padilla knows each twist and turn of this stretch of the Rio Grande in Hidalgo County. He's the Border Patrol chief of the busiest crossing point for undocumented immigrants in the Southwest. Yesterday we had over 800 apprehensions. Smugglers watch from across the narrow stretch of river, waiting to bring another group of immigrants across. They likely will not cross as long as we're here. As soon as we move, then we'll come back in an hour. And so the river is not an effective barrier for them. The smugglers are persistent because this is big business. Every person, again, the grand total that every person pays, whether they're, it's a five-month-old child or an adult, it's $4,000. What happened? Five in custody? Okay, good. They weren't able to make it back south. Good. Padilla's agents patrol this region seven days a week, 24 hours a day, even in the dead of night. Go ahead, sir. I'm here by heart. It's hard to my mom mobile. The search is slow, hampered by the dense vegetation that makes it difficult to walk and impossible to see even a few feet ahead. It's a huge hide and seek game in trying to make these apprehensions. Padilla says he needs a permanent barrier across this entire stretch of the border. Once you erect the wall system and the technology, all this stuff goes away. According to Padilla, the fence will also help keep out a large number of families who make the dangerous journey, often with their small children. And once they cross the border, many immediately turn themselves into border agents. So we encounter them. Uh, we process them and then we turn them over to another agency, but we're treating them here as refugees because of the initial claim of asylum, of a credible fear. That impacts border security because there's a lot of uh, time and effort spent on dealing with this uh, population that is not running away. They're not uh, trying to avoid the border patrol. But the mayor of McAllen, Texas, the largest city in Hidalgo County, says the federal government needs to provide a humanitarian response instead of a law enforcement one. I always said they always send social workers down here to process people because um, about 80 percent, a little bit over 80 percent of all the illegal entries are really people seeking asylum. The mayor admits some of those crossing the border are criminals, according to government stats. Less than 5% of immigrants who are apprehended at the border were criminals. And even so, Mayor Darling says his town isn't impacted. We're the safest city in the state of Texas, seventh in the United States. Is that's that right? What, that's what's so hurting to us, yeah. Tell me a little bit about what it is like living in a border town. How far are we from the border right now? Uh, we're six miles. So we're a little different than we're not right on the border like Laredo or Brownsville. And I think that's been... Um, one of our benefits from a standpoint of um, people coming from Mexico to shop, they want to go to an all-American city. So you have a fair amount of tourism coming in from Mexico, from Mexicans who want to shop here, and then they go back home. Yeah, we were, um, until about two or three years ago, we were the number one sales tax collector in the state of Texas, and about 20 times higher than the American average. So how does it work? Um, tell, explain to me sort of the dynamics of the border for folks in McAllen. One of the things, we own a couple of international bridges. So we have about 8,000 people who come across every day walking and doing business and shopping and owning shops and working, et cetera. And so we're very close to what happens in Mexico. I always say what happens there happens to us a lot on the border. What does Washington get wrong about the border? Oh, I think a lot. I, I, well, I think the rest of the nation does, for one thing. I mean, they just don't understand the issues. Um, they, for one thing, they think it's very dangerous. The State Department ranks right across the river as Category 4. That's the same thing as Syria. I don't think I live right next to Syria, but the State Department does. Mr. Mayor, Thank thanks you. for talking with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us in your city. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.